Hey guys, today we're looking at the song The Glow by DMAs and for this one you don't need a capo on at all. For the acoustic guitar we're going to look at two different sections. Uh, there's one chord progression for the verse and the chorus and then there's a different one that we're going to use on the pre-chorus. So let's dive right into the first one. On my journey towards a thousand subscribers I'm going to be giving away two guitars. I'm going to be giving away an electric guitar and an acoustic guitar. So if you're interested in winning that then please watch this video right to the end and you'll see all the details there. Um, you're going to need a C, an A minor, a D minor and a G and for this I'm just going to be doing down strums on the right hand like this. Um, so actually 16 strums um, and I'm counting 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and you may find that a little bit quick. If you do then just half it so you're going but if you can try the going D minor, G, D minor, G, like this. And that's what we were playing for the intro as well, so just those kind of relentless down strums, and like I said, if you find that too fast, then just half the number of strums you need to do. If you find that too tricky, half it again, and gradually, as your chord changes get quicker, and your right hand gains more control, you'll be able to do uh, the right number of strums. So let me play that through again. Let's take a look at the pre-chorus section. So the chords we're going to need for this are an F major 7, a C, an A minor, a G and also a D minor and we're going to break it down like this. Again, quite a tricky section and you're going to just be doing those relentless down strums again and we're starting on that F major 7 and doing 8 strums, 8 strums on C, 8 strums on A minor, 8 strums on G, just all downs. And then the second time we play the F, C, A minor, G, it goes like this. Let me do this slowly. So on the F we're doing down, up, change to the C, do up change the A minor, change the G, so it goes down, up, 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 let me show you with the chords again, so let me show you how both of those bits go together, we get this, And then it goes on to the D minor G twice, just with the straight relentless down strums again. Okay, let's take a look at some of the electric guitar parts. So we're going to break down the intro. A couple of electric guitar parts. The first one sounds like this. <laughs> shapes there, well the same shape in different positions and that's the power chord shape uh, which if you don't know it is, well let's play the first one, so it's going to be on string 5, fret 3 and on string 4, fret 5 and I do it with my first finger and my little finger um, and we're playing that 16 times. If you're struggling to do it that fast like we did with the acoustic part then just half the number of strums you get. Shape is going to stay the same but just move to different positions. So we're doing it on uh, string 5, fret 3, uh, string 6, fret 5, then move both fingers down one string, and then finally the other shape, the equivalent of a G chord, is the thickest string at fret 3. So if I strum through that slowly, it just goes like this. The 
working guitar part, we're going to be destroying various shapes. The, the tab is on the screen, so take a look at that. Uh, let me play it through slowly. <laughs> to mute out you need to get rid of lots of notes in between the two notes that you need because on the first shape you just want to hear the second thickest string at fret 3 and the second thinnest string at fret 5 um, and we're strumming that with our right hand but we only want to hear that note and that note. so we to strum the strings in between and have them all muted and I'm doing that by touching the string with the skin of my index finger here. If you find that too difficult, then what I would suggest is to just play the note on, on each of those shapes, just play the note that's nearest the floor. So on that first shape, just play the string two note. And on the second shape, just play that note. And so on, and that'll sound pretty cool. That'll sound something like this. guitar journey, choose a version uh, that works well for you. To be able to play the, uh, the rest of the song with the electric guitar, um, I'm not going to go through it all, but I'll basically show you that that is your C, that's your E minor, that's your D minor, that's your G, and the only other shape you need is an F, and you can play that here. Hit the string, fret 1, and the string below that at fret 3, uh, and that will enable you to play all the parts of the song with the electric guitar. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and um, hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my future content. Uh, if you want to win one of those guitars that I talked about at the beginning, all you need to do to be entered is to subscribe to my channel and then just leave a comment in the comment section of one of my videos and then you're in for a chance of winning that guitar. See you guys.